Hey drama fans, ready to explore the latest and greatest Chinese dramas? From gripping mystery to heartwarming romance, there's something for everyone. Men in Love revolves around the lives of four friends who have known each other all along. But after facing challenges in career and relationship, can they find happiness without sacrificing their bond? Join them on their journey of love, growth, and the enduring power of friendship in the face of adversity. In What If, our female lead, Sha Guo, is torn between two different choices in life. Will she choose to live with her boyfriend in her hometown or will she seize the opportunity to forge a successful career in a metropolitan? Watch the drama to know more. Young Babylon is an adaptation of the novel of the same name. Starring Neo Hu and Yang Kai Yu in lead roles, it follows a group of vibrant teenagers in the early 1990s in Fuchang, a small coastal town in southeast China. They passionately chase after their youth, experiencing uninhibited growth and love. Tender Light tells the story of Zhou Luo, a straight-a student who leaves his studies unfinished and returns to his hometown. There, he finds himself drawn to Nanya, a woman shrouded in mystery and rumor. The two get entangled in the murder of Nanya's abusive husband. In Regeneration, we are introduced to six strangers who meet at a memorial service and find out that they have known different versions of the deceased man. Thereafter, they decide to work together to retrace their memories and unveil his true identity. Starring Zhou Yi Ran and Jing Bo Ran, it's a suspense drama that will keep you on the edge of your seat. To the Wonder tells the story of Li Wen Shu who returns to her hometown after facing obstacles in her career. There she gets acquainted with a Kazakh boy, and together they embark on a journey to explore the beauty of nomadic life. Here's another Zhou Yi Ran drama, so if you are a fan, you are in for a treat. In Lady Revenger Returns from the Fire, Luo Ai Lian, the eldest daughter of the Luo family, loses everything overnight due to a sudden disaster. After numerous difficulties, she emerges as Shen Dan Qing, the skilled and capable eldest daughter of an escort agency and sets out on a journey to seek vengeance against her enemies. Along the way, she crosses paths with General Xu, and they find themselves drawn to each other. In the name of the brother, set in Harbin in 1944, Song Zhou Wen, an underground party member disguised as a railway police officer, is mistakenly identified by the head of the spy department, Guan Shui, as her lifesaver. In reality, it was his long-lost twin brother, Song Zhou Wu, who saved her many years ago. She brings Song Zhou Wen back to the spy department of the puppet government where she is currently a director. He uses his new gained access to undermine the regime, but the sudden appearance of Zhou Wu plunges him into unexpected trouble. Reblooming Blue is a romantic drama that tells the story of Chen Xiaoman, who loses her job and has no choice but to return to her hometown. Meanwhile, Kei Yan, Xiaoman's superior at work, also visits the same town to seek guidance from an old acquaintance after facing a career setback. The two join hands, and under his guidance and encouragement, she attempts to become an entrepreneur. In Lovesickness, we are introduced to an ordinary girl, Mo Anan, who accidentally travels back a thousand years and meets Xiao Chu, a powerful duke of the Chu state whose influence spans the entire court. To change Xiao Chu's fate of being harmed by treacherous individuals, Mo Anan travels through time three times, experiencing a thousand years of angsty romance with Xiao Chu. And that's a wrap for today's look at Chinese dramas. Which one caught your eye? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more drama updates. Until next time, happy watching!